morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And welcome to the Curry Sport with me, Dr. Jill Barham and... Amanda Potter, hiya. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. I'm really rubbish at that, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we had a difficult subject to, to talk about the last time that we were talking, which is this kind of transmission or shedding or this phenomenon that is happening um, throughout throughout the world actually, because it's not just a UK problem, of people that are around people that have had the jab who are experiencing all sorts of issues. I particularly concentrate on menstrual issues because as a menopause coach, it's those kind of things that are you know, being flagged to me. But we also know that children are being affected, being around their grandparents or their teachers. Men are being affected with ur urinary problems, with um, uh, enlarged tes testes, um, there's all sorts of things that are going on. So we promised we would come back and try and shed some light on how we could protect ourselves a little bit. Yeah, I think so, because I'm affected every time I go out mm. because uh, I'm a Reiki master and I work with energies all the time, obviously working with angels and spirit. Um, it really does lower my vibration and it really affects my mood. It can um, make me feel ill. And so I've had to come up with a whole host of things to do before, during and after just going shopping. So yeah. I think it would be helpful if we shared that with people. Yes. Um, just hints and tips. And perhaps some of them are old wives tales and perhaps some of them are gonna sound a little bit woo woo, but you may find that they help you. No, exactly. So one of the first things that we need to reiterate, and we've done episodes on this already, are the three top uh, immune system boosters, which are vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D3. So we know about those. There's also a video in here somewhere about making your, your own hydroxychloroquine, which is just made from fruits and tonic water. So we know that those things help. Uh, but we also know that from your point of view, Amanda, you've been using things like crystals and essential oils and with your, uh, your Reiki therapy and also from a, your hypnosis point of view, that there's a huge amount of other things that we can be doing to protect ourselves. You know, it's not about us kind of having this definitive list of things that is definitely gonna work here, but I'm interested to know what you do because if you do it, <laughs> chances are that that's something that we should consider before going anywhere i select a number of crystals and i've got some in front of me so i will always choose um tourmaline or black obsidian um so um i always get the two mixed up i think this one's the tourmaline with striated can you see that oh, yeah. yeah it's a bit big for my bra that one so i've got a smaller smoother piece but it's exactly the same and i stick that in my bra i've also got some hematite um because that's not only that helps to ground my energy as well as looking after my blood i've got some bloodstone crystals i might put those in my bra um obviously i'm not gonna <laughs> use them as, as a sack do you know what i mean but i will put some in and there's also a snowflake obsidian there now, there's these like, kind of things. Maybe if I'm feeling a bit low, I might add some lapidolite. Yeah, that just lifts my mood. Because the one thing I want to do is I want to keep my vibration high whilst I'm out. Because you can't be affected by fear or people's moods or like we're talking about the transmission and the shedding. You can't be affected in the same way when you're looking after your vibration, when you're vibrating your frequency is high and that's what these crystals do for me but what we do know is that to put people in a position of fear all the time lowers your vibration and from a, a, a metaphysical point of view actually lowers your immune system but the, the simple point is that if you are of a higher vibration and this is one of the things that i've been working out with you for a year is that people like us are not getting ill no <laughs> we're not even picking up the virus or if we do it's a mild form and we're not we're not experiencing any symptoms or mild symptoms to go so on from what you've just said i've told you about all the crystals i put in my bra but i've not mentioned the fact that i wear crystals all the time anyway i've got amethyst on that protects me from negativity i've always got my um 
aqua aura quartz, which keeps my vibration high. I'll have selenite on me. You know, so there's loads of things I'm doing to keep my vibration, the frequency of my energy. We vibrate. We keep that high. And that, that means that I can be very helpful if I bump into somebody in co-op and they're upset or they're anxious. I can help them. It doesn't affect me. Their mood, their frequency, their low vibration, their shedding, their transmission, whatever it is, it can't touch me. It's like water off a duck's back. Yeah. So that's exactly what I'm doing when I go out. But I also make sure that I've grounded my energy before I go out. I, I put myself in a protective bubble. I only have to imagine it and I'm in it. It sounds woo-woo, but give it a go. Yeah. And I ground my energy with shungite. I put, just point that down as I'm holding it in front of me and I just breathe my energy in. Uh, it's just an, again I just love shungai it really works well so what what we need to do we could do just one little episode on grounding couldn't we because that that would be brilliant if we could that'd be brilliant yeah but I'll combine all of these things these really help me to go out and I'm not bothered I've even got a rollerball uh, that's got doTERRA essential oils in this is melaleuca oregano helichrysum helichrysum and lemongrass and it's a rollerball so i might just put that on my arm oh it's nice um but i've also got my little bracelet yeah i don't wear all these all the time by the way i've only put them on for the recording but this bracelet i may decide to put a specific essential oil on this lava bead yeah yeah and then I can wear that and that keeps my vibration high. So I'm using crystals and essential oils. I've even got a, a facial mist by Neil's Yard, which is absolutely gorgeous, raises my vibration. There's all sorts you can do, but the idea is you raise your vibration, but you've got to ground your energy. Otherwise, you'll just not get anything done. You'll feel a bit like away with the fairies. And one other thing worth mentioning, because this is uh, being talked about now, because there are an awful lot of people that are looking what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And one of the things that has come out is the benefits of pine needle tea. Is <laughs> <laughs> one I got earlier. It's absolutely fabulous. We went out yesterday and I had some pine needle tea when I got back and I felt the benefits right away. Not that I felt poorly coming back, but I just felt great. Because obviously I can test because I'm into my vibration, I'm into my energy. But when you use China pine needles, and you, these are from Germany, you can get them from South Korea, and they do cost, but obviously you can't put a price on health. So I'm going to buy this. We've been out, and I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any toxins from outside, whether that's shed in, whether I believe it, it doesn't matter. The point is, I made this, and you need to make it lukewarm. It's got to be about, the, the back says about 70 to, 70 to 80 degrees C is the water before you put the needles, the pine needles in. And it, it's not the best tasting thing, <laughs> yeah? but at the same time, it's going to help me. I'm just going to show you some. They're actually pine needles, which show it's very difficult to get in a diffuser. Yeah, so the pine needle tea, I am thrilled to bits with because it was my first cup yesterday and it was well worth the weight. It was well worth the effort. I felt great. I if felt we are great. worried about, you know, this phenomenon, then having something positive to do is... Um... You're back in control, aren't you? And we all know the, the placebo effect... Yeah. even if it's only a placebo don't matter yeah absolutely it's definitely worth a go thank you very much so we'll be back again for another episode of the curry spot very soon thanks for joining us see you soon bye